Hi, I'm Bo Bridges. I have a story to share with you guys that I wrote down several years ago. I was seven and my mom and I went for an extended visit with my dad who was shooting High Noon, starring Grace Kelly and, yes, Gary Cooper. Sonora lies in the gold rush country amidst foothills covered with lush pine forests. My first morning there, my dad had a fight scene with Mr. Cooper. He was concerned because the star of the show, Coop as some called him, was not feeling well. I was bouncing with energy as I dressed to go to work with my dad. His furrowed brow said it all. Maybe it's not a great time for you to visit the set today, son. Mr. Cooper's not feeling well. And I said, I, I, I know, and you're worried you think a kid being there might be a problem, but I won't be. I promise. I know when the director says roll him, I keep my mouth shut and until I hear cut. Dad looked at me for a long time. And then he said, all right, but not a word out of you. One peep and you're back to the hotel. I wriggled comfortably into a perfect spot to watch the fight. I was alone up in a hayloft looking down on the film crew and actors. There was a lot of excitement all around. You could tell a lot of effort on everybody's part had gone into this one shot. Five horses stomped nervously pulling on the ropes that tethered them to the sides of the barn. I could see my dad and Mr. Cooper talking with Mr. Zinnerman, the director. They seemed to be getting last minute instructions. My dad told me that the fight might look very real and violent and that he got knocked out in the end. But that I shouldn't worry, it was all choreographed and that they weren't actually hurting each other. Then came action. Mr. Cooper walked toward one of the horses with a saddle on it and began to mount up when my dad came behind him and spun Coop around. A vicious fight ensued, capped off by both men rolling under stamping horses. I was thrilled, and now here comes the best part, I thought. Here's where dad gets nailed with a knockout punch. And sure enough, there it was, delivered in truly heroic style. My dad went down like a ton of bricks. Fantastic, I thought. Bravo, perfect. I fought to keep myself silent. And then it happened. Mr. Cooper, in character, picked up a wooden pail filled with water and drenched my dad with it. This I was not ready for, and a loud gasp came from my lips. Oh. Then, unfortunately, uncontrollable laughter. Heads turned upward. What was that? I was the culprit. I had ruined the scene. How could you do that? I had one simple request for you to keep your mouth shut and you couldn't do that for me? One simple request. I could get fired over this. Now things were serious and I crouched deeper into the back seat of our rented car as my dad head back to the hotel from work. I had let my dad down and I felt awful. Waiting for the elevator in the lobby of the hotel, I could still feel my dad's anger. And then, lo and behold, who should appear but Mr. Cooper himself. Dad stiffened momentarily and then forced a, a cheerful, how you feeling Coop? Mr. Cooper smiled, looked down at me, then up at my dad. Lord, why don't you and the family join me for dinner tonight? <laughs> so see, Gary Cooper put a, a nice ending on that story and I'll never forget it, it was fantastic. You guys have a great night tonight. Peace.